eyes and hands and voices Who wondrous things has done In whom this world rejoices Who from our mother's arms Has blessed us on our way With countless gifts of love And still is ours today Obey this bounteous God Through all our life be near us With ever joyful hearts And blessed peace to cheer us And keep us all in grace And guide us when perplexed And free us from all Friends, God bless you this day of thanksgiving. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, your generous goodness comes to us new every day. By the work of your Spirit, lead us to acknowledge your goodness, give thanks for your benefits and serve you in willing obedience through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 65 You are to be praised, O God, in Zion. To you shall vows be fulfilled. To you, the one who answers prayer, to you all flesh shall come. Our sins are stronger than we are, but you blot out our transgressions. Happy are they whom you choose, and draw to your courts to dwell there. They will be satisfied by the beauty of your house, by the holiness of your temple. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the oceans far away. You make firm the mountains by your power, you are girded about with might. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the clamor of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth will tremble at your marvelous signs. You make the dawn and the dusk to sing for joy. You visit the earth and water it abundantly. You make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare the grain, for so you provide for the earth. You drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges. With heavy rain you soften the ground and bless its increase. You crown the year with your goodness and your paths overflow with plenty. May the fields of the wilderness be rich for grazing, and the hills be clothed with joy. May the meadows cover themselves with flocks, and the valleys cloak themselves with grain. Let them shout for joy and sing. Friends, our gospel story this Thanksgiving is from the Gospel of Luke. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him, keeping their distance. They called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, When he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not ten made clean, but the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. 
Friends, how easy 2020 has seemed to make it to reflect on taking things for granted, whether it be health or community or today maybe even family. Um, it's a blessing and an honor to just spend a few minutes and connect today, to invite you to uh, reflect on the blessings yet of God's presence uh, on the journey here, on this day of giving thanks uh, for the blessing uh, of God, for the blessing of community, for the blessing yet of family. Uh, and want to spend just a few minutes uh, reflecting with you and the great good news that you are not ever alone. This story here from Luke's Gospel finds a Samaritan returning to Jesus after being healed to simply say thanks. In simple yet powerful note of gratitude, the Samaritan becomes a model for taking the time to return and to show thankfulness. Jesus connects then this act of gratitude to a life of faith. He says, get up and go on your way. Keep going on the journey for your faith has made you well. Dear friends, I want to invite you this day to take a few moments if you haven't already and um, Think of someone to share a word of thanks to. I want to share this uh, with you. Uh, Greg, heads up, okay, because I'm going to come at you. I don't know how this works, so you'll have to give me a little, uh, a little direction. Um, I got this uh, in the mail uh, from my friend Clark. Uh, it's a simple note uh, that he sent last week. It says, I'm thankful for Pastor Adam Love Clark. Uh, Clark, I just want to tell you how touched I am and how grateful I am for you sharing a minute of your day uh, to offer this word of thanks uh, and connect with me in this strange time when we haven't been able to see each other in quite some time. Uh, I, I, how, how easy it can be for me to take for granted um, that y'all are out here. Uh, and thanks be to God for um, the ways in which you show and share connection, uh, family, and faith during these times. You know, uh, uh, so I want to invite you to do the same thing. Just take some time today, maybe jot a note of thanks or pick up the phone and call someone that you might uh, haven't yet uh, and offer a, a word of thanksgiving and blessing uh, and connection here today. You know, um, if you watch football at all, if you watch football at all on Thanksgiving, you, you know they, they oftentimes they take a, a minute and they, they show like the behind the scenes in the broadcast booth because people have sacrificed their, their time on uh, Thanksgiving. And so uh, I'm going to do the same. They don't know and nobody knows this. So Greg, I'm going to invite you just to kind of pan enough so that there's some space here. And then Nancy, can you come? Can you come and, 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 and come in here? Greg, can you put your headphones down? Uh, let it just trust that it'll run and, and come on out here. Uh, Pastor Russ, can you come on over? And Amy, can you come and let's, we'll stay six feet apart, but just come on in here for, for just a moment. These are just some of the folks who have given so much of, the, of their selves uh, along this journey this past year. Uh, and, and I just, I, I'm eternally grateful, as I know that you are, to them. So on, on behalf of you, I speak our thanks uh, for them. They're just the ones that are here in the room. Uh, but just a tremendous word of thanks for all that they have, uh, and con have done and continue to do uh, to help us stay connected, uh, stay grounded in the word of God's grace and love and life uh, and continue to share this journey so faithfully together. I see Greg's already leaning to get back to it because he hears me wrapping up. So go ahead, Greg. You can head back on there, uh, dear friends, as we continue to lift our voices in song, giving thanks to God for the blessing of the journey. Let all things now live. 
living a song of thanksgiving to God the Creator, triumphantly raised. Who fashioned and made us, protected and stayed us, who still guides us on to the end of our days. God's banners are o'er us, God's light goes before us, a pillar of fire shining forth in the night. Till shadows have vanished and darkness is banished, as forward we travel from light into light. God rules all the forces, the stars in their courses, and the sun in its orbit obediently shine. The hills and the mountains, the rivers and fountains, the deeps of the ocean proclaim God divine. We too should be voicing our love and rejoicing with glad adoration, a song that us raise. Till all things now living unite in thanksgiving to God in the highest, Hosanna and praise. Friends, it's our custom at Cross of Hope to give God thanks and praise and celebrate with those who uh, share birthdays. Uh, on the days we gather for worship. Today is uh, Thanksgiving, but it's also a very special day uh, in the life of of one of our very own. So Nancy, I'm going to ask you to come back out here, please. Uh, today's a, a, a milestone birth, birthday, if I may. 60 years today. I thought it'd be cool if you if you had to read Psalm 60, uh, but 65. You're getting there. You're getting there. So today, dear friends, help me uh, celebrate Nancy, the gift for of her life and the, and and the gift that she is to our community of faith. Um, well, I guess I'll sing. You join me from home, uh, but then call her, text her, email her, uh, Facebook message her. Wishes of happy birthday today on Thanksgiving giving uh, Nancy Morrison's birthday. Happy birthday to you, to Jesus be true. God loves you, dear Nancy. Happy birthday to you. God bless you today, dear friends. Mm-hmm.